Okay, we're now going to look at um, texturing, uh, colouring. So let's uh, let's select an object and colour it. Over this side, you've got different uh, options. So what we're looking for is the Lambert. It automatically will render a colour in Lambert, which is the default sort of flat shape. If you go along here to the tabs, click rendering, you'll get these different options come up. These are just different um, uh, different surface materials, like one's kind of like a plastic, another's kind of like a, a, a glass, um, there's like a blin, there's a phony. We'll select, um, well we'll leave it on Lambert, which is a default. Down here is the colour. So we're in Lambert, because it is a Lambert shade. Um, if I change it to one of the others it would show us as a blin or a, a phony or something and material sample gives a little picture of how it'll look when it renders um, we haven't gone to that yet but we'll get onto that later in the color here let's just hit hit the color patch and you'll get this come up um, let's just make it red but you can pick from here can select RGB or hue saturation value we'll leave it on HSV for now just default so now if you notice that I've made it red but also notice that the block here has gone red as well and that's because if you pick one surface type then every surface type in there that has been generated at the same time will have a different colour. So in order to make the block a different type, I'll select it all. So that's, this is the selection tool. So I just click, hold with my left hand mouse button, drag a square over it to select it. that. Now I'm going to make it a Lambert again but because this time you notice it's gone Lambert 2. So Lambert 1 is this circle, Lambert 2 is this square now. So I'll double click that, change it into a yellow and now you can see it's changed to a yellow. Now just bear in mind the only reason this is lit is because it's using a default lighting but uh, we'll um, add more lighting effects later. But play around with different types as well. Maybe make this a make this a blin object. Look at the sample or a phony. Look at the sample that's over here, and it will give a little. Also, notice it defaults back to grey. But you see, you can play around with these um, all these settings in here. So have a play around with those, get familiar with all the different settings within that box and what they do. You'll only really see it when we render out, but we'll get on to rendering this out in the next lesson. Okay, so that's adding, adding colours, adding textures to the objects we've created. And so we'll get on to the lighting in the next lesson or the rendering. Okay, that's this step done.